Hi, I'm Matt Sosman, a senior security architect at Microsoft. And I want to take you just a peek behind the scenes of Microsoft Defender Advanced Threat Protection and show you what's happening underneath the covers. So let's dive into it. All right, well, let's peel back the onion here and take a look at what's happening beneath Microsoft Defender ATP and how this thing really works. And so Windows Defender Antivirus is down there at the bottom, and that's the next generation component of Microsoft Defender Advanced Threat Protection. It's really a better together platform with Defender ATP from a cloud perspective and the Windows Defender client from a client perspective. And with this, it allows us to have a next generation protection engine to provide really industry best detection blocking capabilities. Now, many of those engines are built into the client itself and that provides advanced protection against majority of threats in real time. And so when the client encounters an unknown threat, it will actually send metadata or the file itself to the cloud protection service where more advanced protections examine new threats on the fly and it integrates signals from other sources. So really thinking about it, this next generation protection engine ensures that it's accurate, real time, and has the intelligence that's required. So let's take a look at that top layer there for cloud and let's peel that back a little bit. Metadata-based machine learning engine. This is really specialized machine learning models. And what this allows us to do is take a real-time verdict whether, we want to, whether or not we want to allow or block a file pre-execution. So that's pretty interesting. And the behavior-based ML engine is where we have suspicious behavior and advanced attack techniques that are monitored on the client. And these, trigger to, these triggers to analyze the process behind what's happening. And so when we do that, we're able to see lateral movement and exfiltration and see how those attack techniques really span across the attack hill chain. Now the AMZ paired ML engine, this is where we're pairing the client side and cloud side machine learning models to perform advanced analysis of scripting behavior, both pre and post execution of that process to catch advanced threats like file lists and, and memory attacks. And so these models include a pair of models for each of the scripting engines that are, that are covered in here, such as PowerShell and JavaScript, VBScript, you know, VBA macros and Office and that kind of thing. And that's really interesting and I think that's, that's actually pretty cool. And so when you start to keep peeling this back and you look at file classification, this is where it has a, a neural network of classifiers that examine full file contents that provide an additional layer of defense against attacks that require really additional analysis. So those suspicious files are held from running and they're submitted to the cloud protection service for classification. And this all happens within seconds. And so full content deep learning models then produce a classification and they send a signal back to the client and tell it whether or not to allow or block that file. And this all happens in real time. Now, one of my favorites here is a detonation-based ML engine, and that's where suspicious files are detonated in a sandbox up in the cloud, and that's where the deep learning classifiers analyze the observed behaviors from those files to then block an attack. Reputation ML engine. Now, again, ML stands for machine learning, and so this is where we have reputation sources and models from across Microsoft that are queried to then block threats that are linked to malicious or suspicious URLs, domains, emails, and even files. And so some of these sources include Windows Defender Smart Screen for URL reputation models, and then Office 365 Advanced Threat Protection for email attachment uh, signals, among other Microsoft services through the Intelligence Security Graph. Now the last one here is Smart Rules. And this is where we have um, expert written smart rules that identify threats based on our researches at Microsoft and their expertise and collective knowledge of the threat landscape. Okay, so let's move down to the bottom here and talk about what's happening in this bottom layer on the client itself. So the machine learning engine is really a set of machine learning models that make a verdict within milliseconds. And so these include specialized models and features that are built for specific file types commonly used by attackers. And so examples might include models built for portable execution files, PowerShell, Office macros, JavaScript PDF files, and much, much more. Now, when you move on to the behavioral monitoring engine, this is monitoring for potential attacks that are happening post-execution. So it observes the behavior of the process and including behavioral sequence at runtime to then identify and block certain types of activities based on those predetermined rules. 
Now the memory scanning engine is scanning the memory space used by a running process to then expose malicious behavior that may be hiding through code obf obfuscation. Now, one of my favorites here on the client side is the AMZ integration engine, and that's deep in-app integration that enables detection of fileless and in-memory attacks through the anti-malware scan interface, or AMZ, and it's, it's defeating code obfuscation. So this integration is really blocking malicious behavior of scripts on the client. Now, when you look at the heuristics engine, this is identifying file characteristics that have similarities with known malicious characteristics, to catch new threats or modified versions of known threats. And then emulation engine is dynamically unpacking malware and it examines how they would behave at the runtime. So as if they're executed. And so the dynamic emulation of the content and scanning, both the behavior during emulation and the memory content at the end of emulation defeat malware packers and expose the behavior of really polymorphic malware. And then last but not least here is the network engine. And this is network activities happening on the client that are inspected to identify and stop malicious activities from threats. So when you think about this, there's a lot happening here, both on the cloud level and at the client level. Together with attack surface reduction, composed of advanced capabilities like hardware isolation and application control and exploit protection and network protection, controlled folder access, attack surface reduction rules and network firewall, these next generation protection engines really deliver Defender ATP's pre-breach capabilities. And that's stopping attacks before they can infiltrate devices and compromise networks. Now, as part of Microsoft's defense in depth solution, the superior performance of these engines really accrues Defender ATP's unified endpoint protection where antivirus detections and other next gen protection capabilities enrich endpoint detection and response automated investigation and remediation, advanced hunting, threat and vulnerability management, managed threat hunting service, and other capabilities you could see wrapping around this kind of outer ring here of the picture. And so these protections are really further amplified through Microsoft threat protection. We'll do a video on that later on, where it's Microsoft's really comprehensive end-to-end -end security solution for the modern workplace. And that's spanning across Office 365 advanced threat protection, Microsoft Defender Advanced Threat Protection, Azure Advanced Threat Protection, Cloud App Security, Microsoft Intune, and much more. So this is all possible through signal sharing and orchestration of remediation across these different technologies. And as you can see here, Microsoft Defender ATP is pretty awesome. It's one of my favorite products. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it gave you a nice overview here of what's happening inside Defender ATP. Go check out my other videos on Defender ATP to learn more for some in-depth demonstrations and really going under the covers. And if you have any questions, hit me up on LinkedIn, put them in the comments down below, and we'll see you in the next video. Stay happy, stay healthy, and stay safe.